Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Today in the quote jar we have got quotes by Lester Levinson. I've been reading his books lately. I'm on to volume two. I'm currently reading volume one. I'm trying to remember what the title is. I think it's something like Teachings by Lester or something like that. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description below to the book that I've quoted from so that if you like this kind of thing you can read the whole book but otherwise you can just take the wisdom that I'm going to share with you today so choose from between group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading hi there group number one if you chose group number one then you are in the right place so as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. Okay, so we've got the hanged man in reverse. We've got the high priestess in reverse. We've got Judication, Oracle card, hmm, come on, here we go, Judication, number 30, number 3, for your last tarot we've got the Death card, upright. And more oracle cards, we've got Victory. And we have got Surrender. And there we go, okay. So what am I seeing here? Well, the first thing that struck me was the High Priestess in reverse. Because this is indicating to me that your intuition perhaps isn't working so effectively right now or maybe you're looking for answers, you really want answers but you're feeling like you can't connect with your own guidance or with your own inspiration. You might even be feeling slightly abandoned or you know a bit stuck you might be resisting being stuck or stagnant at this time. But this is kind of like this block of time that you, you have to go through. The only way out is through. Sometimes life is like that. You have manifested a victory. Okay. You're going to be victorious. There is some situation that you're in where I think maybe you're not even seeing the victory that you've already manifested. Your future contains some incredibly good times, some incredibly good stuff. Some form of victory is very much on the horizon. And I feel like it's going to come in after something ends, something has to end and there's a stalling happening here but some, something must end and one of the things I got when I was first looking, I looked at this spread very briefly this afternoon, it's evening time now, I'm able to record finally but when I looked at this this afternoon I got a sense that your great victory is actually in the new earth I got this death as being the death of the old world and a quote came into my mind which was by Jiddu Krishnamurti and he says, it's no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. Okay, and that is a fascinating quote that's really important at this time. One of the things I thought about with this group is that you absolutely deserve 
success and this victory but it's like it's like this current earth can't give it to you right now because too much is being dismantled you're kind of on hold you're a bit on hold your intuition and you might think your intuition is not working let me tell you something it is working it's just saying there's not much we can do right now <laughs> okay it's like a massive stall it's like a massive yeah you're gonna have to wait until the world is going to need a little bit of healing or something. Something's got to give. Something's got to change before this victory of yours comes in. This is like a new earth, 5D, some sort of... This is you. You are this. You are moving towards this. You are victorious. You're going to be victorious in the future. But it is a bit of a future thing. The way through is going to be surrender you're just gonna have to let go of, of needing change it would seem right now uh, I get the sense that things aren't going to be changing in a hurry surrender there we go it's having trouble focusing hmm what does that mean well, that's the thing. That's this. You're having trouble focusing as well. You're having trouble seeing the path ahead. There's a bit of a fog sense in here. And there's a lot of waiting. There's a lot of, you know, when you're in a courthouse and it's like, oh gosh, how long is this going to take? And it, they, things take forever. There's a massive amount of waiting. There's the death of the old world. There's your success coming in the new world. But there's going to be a heck of a lot of patience required to get there. Let's see what Lester's got to say. Let's see what wisdom comes through here. I'm really interested to know. Because there's quite a bit of kind of stale sort of energy. Now this is by Lester Levinson. I haven't written his name on here. His name is going to be in the description below. Lester Levinson. Let's see what he says. So he says... Come on. Oh, if you want to be good at anything, the less the ego, the better you are. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's take another one. <laughs> okay, take that one. Okay, if you want to be good at anything, the less ego, the less the ego, the better you are. That is quite true. But what are you wanting to be good at? You are good at, you're very good at something. Because there's this victory here. And that's to do with you. That's your victory. I mean, this could be the death of ego is needed. But is that within you? I'm just getting, or is that within the world around you? You see, because that we're going, the world is going through a massive ego death. Yes, this relates in to that Jiddu Krishnamurti quote that it's no measure of health to be adjusted to a profoundly sick society. It's like you, if you're successful in this sick society, that's not actually what you want. You want to be successful in the new earth. You see. That's where your success lies. It, it, it's a thing of, it's, it's almost like you can't quite be this full thing yet because the world is, is too much in ego. You see, the world values the big CEO with the big car, you know, but it doesn't value what you have which is natural and good and honest and kind and real. All the truth, love and the beauty that you have that world is breaking down that ego world is breaking down and you are going to have a period of surrender you're going to have to surrender the healing process of the world is, is not going to happen very very quickly I think this ego is relating to the world And if you want to be good in anything, the less the ego, the better you are. It's like the, it's like the more victory and success you're going to have in the new earth when 
we're not measuring success in the wrong way. It's just, I feel like with group one, the main message is like a huge amount of patience is going to be needed. Let's take a look at this one. What do we have here? Is that the right way up? Yes. It says, a quote by Lester Levinson, whenever you are not growing spiritually, you are growing in the other direction. Every time you express ego, you are growing downward. Yep, that is so true. This could relate to you. This could relate to someone around you who is being quite egotistical and is providing a bit of a block at this time. I'm, I'm definitely still interpreting this as the world. The world around you is... Um, is a very highly egotistical world, you know, that measures people very differently to how you or I would measure people, you know. Uh, we would have different measurements, but a lot of the world is still in that old paradigm of judging books by their cover, of judging, like, well, I'll listen to you if you've got a degree from Harvard. You know, and it's like, well, and the new earth, we're, got, we're not going to need that stuff. All this stuff is breaking down. Big institutions are all breaking down. If you read the book by Diana Cooper, which is called 2032, I'm going to get that book. I've listened to a lot of her lectures about it, but the new earth is not going to be like that. The new earth is going to be for people who are growing spiritually. And you know what? The new earth is going to be very boring <laughs> for people who are of the old way. You know, the, the 3D people, the people who get the thrill and the excitement of winning over the little guy or, you know, financially beating people up or like <laughs> whatever it is that people at the, at the head of... Um, Difficult corporations, like, uh, not difficult corporations, but there are these companies that are motivated the wrong way. I mean, I'm talking about Monsanto, you know, I'm talking about, hey, let's patent seeds, you know, so that we can make money off them and let's sell poisons for people's crops. And who cares if farmers are killing themselves? You know, it's that old world that is dying a death and that you are actually not meant to be successful in. You are going to be successful in the new earth. Okay, you've got to surrender and wait for that time. And are you going to be waiting a long time? No, you're creating it now. A lot of new earth businesses are being created now. I tend to think, I hope what I'm doing is a little bit new earth like, uh, but there are lots and lots of new earth businesses being created right now. And I just get the sense that there's a bit of downtime. There's a little bit of downtime here. You're in a fog, your intuition's off. This, you need to surrender, okay? And just, Keep on keeping on. That is my big guidance for you at this time, group number one. So, wow, this has been a really interesting reading. I didn't know we'd go down all those tangents. But yes, it is a challenging time. But you're growing spiritually. Okay, don't worry about the world that is not, that is growing, the world is growing in the other direction. This is not to do, I don't think this is to do with a person. I think this is to do with you and the world. This is quite a big reading, group number one. This has been quite profound. So I hope this has been a good reading for you. Please let me know in the comments below how this went. I would love to hear how you got on. Apologies, I've been really super busy. I haven't been able to get back to comments and things like that, but I'm hoping to get back uh, to people as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching, supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you have drawn through. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. Okay, so we've got justice in reverse. Wow, powerful start. Okay, we've got the star card upright.
we have got judgment upright. Wow. Interesting depiction of that. Because that's some um, Archangel Gabriel. <laughs> Interesting depiction of him. <laughs> okay, we've got, oh, this is beautiful. Door to personal healing and happiness. Yes, I am up for some of that. <laughs> Beautiful, wow, that's like a like lilies and a dove and a rainbow and waterfall. It doesn't get much better than that. Okay. We've got the release card. Yeah, a lot of need to release. We had um surrender in group one just now. Interesting. It's quite a theme carrying through. Okay, and we've got great fortune. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Actually, I think I want this one here and I want this one up here. Okay. This is a beautiful spread, group number two. The energies here are really, really lovely. I think you're manifesting beautiful things right now. I think you're manifesting healing. I think you're manifesting happiness. You're ascending. This judgment card is very much about ascension. I'm pretty sure in the traditional tarot, you've got these souls that rise up. You're hearing the call and you're rising up. You're going, you're on your way. This can be seen as a bit of sort of rebirth, but it's, it's that evolving from one state of being ascending up to another. You're okay to be judged. You're like, yeah, judge me. I'm ready. I'm ready to go up. I think the only thing that might be holding you back is a desire for justice, is a desire to see justice play out here on the planet. And this is a difficult time, no doubt about it. A lot of parts of the world are Finding things difficult at the moment, we'd all love some justice. The more I think about justice these days, the more I'm thinking, well, is that some kind of fantasy? You know, because we've got justice, say, in the sixth house and in the twelfth house, opposite. And I explored this that the twelfth house could that be all about fantasy thinking? You know, is is justice just an illusion? Does it really exist? I think the way if you're yet to experience some of the healing that's due to you, that's coming in for you. So if you're yet to experience this or to tap this, if you're yet to bring in that abundance, and we're really looking at 11th house Aquarius type stuff here. So if you're yet to draw down some of the great things that are due to you, if you're yet to experience this door to personal healing and happiness, I mean, these three really resonate. And of course, this is about ascension, you know, you being rewarded for, for being you. So if you're yet to receive this or to draw it down, the reason could be that you are tied to wanting justice. You're like, well, you know, maybe you keep looking at the problems or something. There's... You need to release your attachment to wanting things to be fair and just here. That's not easy to do. It's very difficult to do, actually. This one's not focusing either. Come on, here we go. Yeah, there's something you got to release. And I think it's your attachment to wanting things to be fair. By releasing your attachment to it, some space might be created and this might actually come in okay but it's uh at the current uh, place like the energies are showing me that this is kind of separate here and this is there's an attachment here you're wanting justice and because of that this isn't flowing in i think that's what i'm seeing here let's take a look and see what lester levinson has to say now i'm going to put his name in the description below so if you 
want to look up his book or look up his teachings or whatever I just happen to be reading I'm reading volume two at the moment so it's really really good uh, what does it say oh as you grow those who are not up to you will try to pull you down to where they are yes and that do you know what that's this and that mm, it could be let's well let's start with this one as you grow people are going to want to try and pull you down yes it's so true you know misery loves company that's another way of saying this concept because the people who are down there they are lonely okay it, it can be very lonely just being surrounded by problems all the time and, and being miserable all the time I know that's not a nice thing to say but it's also true um but as you grow, those who are, are not up to you will try to pull you down. And, and you're not doing that. You're ascending. Remember, I talked about the fact that you are going up. You're releasing the material. You're, going, you're hearing the call. You're going up. You're going up to the heavens. You're going up to the clouds. You're hearing Archangel Gabriel. Beautiful, right? As you do that, though, some people are going to want to yank on your chain i'm kidding <laughs> okay uh let's take a look at another quote let's see what comes through i'm sorry i'm being quite brief today guys i had such a busy day i'm like oh my gosh I'm super tired and i'm gonna have to get on to the next reading but let us see i'm glad i had time today to do this because hopefully i'll have time to edit on friday so i might launch this a bit late guys um, okay, let's have a look here. Wait, come on, focus. There we go. Anytime we have trouble, anytime we have a problem, we are trying to express the self through the limited ego, and it is too small. So we get squeezed and it hurts. I like this description for ego because how do you capture an infinite soul okay infinity soul the sun how do you wrap that in a limit and that's saturn and that hurts doesn't it there's there's pain there there's ego there looking at this and i'm kind of wanting to see what's the ego around justice this is interesting there's something about letting go there's something about ego and there's something about justice in your world at the moment. Maybe there's someone around you who is really frustrated with the state of the world. And they're frustrated with the state of the world. Why? Because they're frustrated with the state of the world because they've invested their ego in it. And they've invested their ego into maybe a nation state or a political side of the argument or they've invested somebody around you has invested their identity into some earthly thing and it's something to do with justice and this person could do with letting it go And how do you help this person? That is a good question. I'm not 100% sure. Let's draw one more because we've got seven. I'm going to break open the emergency. <laughs> the emergency rations. We've got seven today, so you're the lucky ones. Going to get three. All right, we'll take this one. Oh, feels like a big one. Yeah, the next group has two. Okay, good. I'm happy. There's no emergency rations. We, we're going for it now. So there's somebody in your world. I do think there's somebody who is going through something and maybe you're having to deal with that or them. Wow, this is a good one. Yep, the higher you go, the more you see perfection and therefore the less you see problems. The more one sees problems the lower one is this is you this is you and another person there's somebody i'm sorry i just got so excited <laughs> there's somebody in your world who's yanking on your chain you're ascending you're cool you're fine you're going up in fact you're 
doing this, right? You're, you, you know not to get caught down in here. You know that. And, but they see that they see, and they're looking at you and they're going, wow, why are they so happy? And they don't like it. They're yanking on your chain. They've got ego, okay? Uh, and the ego is hurting them, right? And, it, and you seeing them in that state might be hurting you too okay um, and you try to offer help and you try to do all of that the higher you go the more you see perfection because you know that a new earth is being birthed you know that the old is breaking away you know that the problems that we have on the earth right now they're not going to go forever you know all this stuff you see the perfection you see that solutions are being created right now you see that new earth businesses are starting right now you see the good people you see the kindness you see all of that Whereas there's somebody in your space, all they do is they see the problems. And they're not at your level. We can see that here. The higher you go, the more you see perfection and therefore the less you see problems. The more one sees problems, the lower one is. There's somebody, and maybe you need to release that person. But ideally, I mean, if you can help them release their ego that would be amazing and it's not easy and one of the things that I had to say to someone recently was um, hey you know be a friend to that person whom you're upset with and sometimes being a friend means just being okay with it like and that's a way of releasing like yeah there's, there's this be a friend message coming through group number two I don't know what you're going through but I hope this has been a good reading for you. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on with this. I would be fascinated to know. I hope this has been a good reading for you. And thank you so much for your support of the channel. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate every single comment, every single like. So thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group three. If you chose group number three, then you're in the right place. I forgot my intro spiel. What do I say? <laughs> I've completely forgotten. I've gone blank. Oh yeah. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates. <laughs> oh dear. It's been a long day, guys. Please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. What is that? That is the... Oh man, I am just... That's the Ace of Wands. Okay. And it's in reverse. Right. I can do this. I can make it happen. It's been a long day. It's been a long old day. All right, I've got the Ace of Cups. See, you're gonna you're gonna get me like a little bit tired. I'm like, what, am I am I am I drunk on life or something? So you're gonna get an interesting reading. <laughs> um, we've got the Courthouse. Okay. Right. I'm vaguely remembering. I saw you briefly today. When I drew the cards in the afternoon, it's now night time. It's been a long day. Uh, the Seven of Cups upright. Fantastic. Yes, I'm remembering you, Group 3. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. You've got Fourth Chakra. Archangel Raphael. The Archangel of Healing. How beautiful. Gosh, I could do with, yeah, this is a good reading. <laughs> Straight away, he's here. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got Extremes, Hot Moon. We've had this card so many times. I'm almost tempted to take it out because it's like, if I just keep drawing this card, I shuffle them really well. So, but it's, it's needed. It's needed. All right, so what do we have going on here? This is quite a lovely spread. I like this one. I'm remembering you now something about so your creativity this is your fire energy your creativity something about you putting that on the back burner and focusing on love and I really think this is self-love okay so this is the ace of wands is our creative power you're a very creative person and you're talented. You're talented creatively, massively. You're meant to do great things with that. But for now, you're meant to put it on the back burner just a little bit. Okay, put it on the back burner. 
and you need to focus on love. And this is the Ace of Cups. Now, I'm not actually seeing this as love with one person. I'm seeing this as self-love. I'm seeing this as love, divine love. You know, human love, as I read in Lester's book, Lester Levinson, I'm going to be drawing quotes from him. He said, human love is all around need. Divine love is all about giving. And it feels like this is a time where you need to give some love to yourself. There's some self-love needed here. There's some healing needed here. There's some self-care needed here. This, I love this card because when I saw this, I saw the number five, two plus three is five, which is change, courthouse. Now I saw this as being the seventh house and the seventh house is all about commitment. It's also, it's also about legalizing. It's because we've got love here. We've got love on the table massively, ace of cups. That is the ultimate card of love, right? So we're definitely talking about love and that's why I was drawn to the seventh house and I was looking at this contract and I was seeing that, wow, is there a marriage? Is there a marriage supposed to be happening? But we've just got one person here and we've got one, one, we've got four, we've got seven and seven and we've got a five. So according to the numbers, I'm not seeing that there's another person here. What I'm seeing is that you need to renew certain commitments you have with yourself. Okay, so if you've committed to a certain exercise program, that well, I'm definitely gonna do five minutes of exercise per day, or I'm definitely gonna commit to this new type of diet. You know, I said to myself I would quit that thing and I'm definitely gonna do it. There's some form of self-love that is required from you that is, and I just had the word uh, tough love pop in as well. Yeah, this is some renewal of commitment with yourself and Saturn is here, discipline's here. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're going to need to renew some kind of commitment you have with yourself. That will increase your self-trust. That will increase your self-love. That will, there'll be a lot of healing come in for you just by um, recommitting to yourself. There's something you need to commit to yourself. Something along that line there. What's this? Okay, this is an 11, which is a 2, but it's you. It's like this, I'm still getting a you vibe. I'm not particularly getting that there's someone else here. We'll see what the last two quotes are. This was this thing of extremes, and it's kind of like, it's a balance. Again, look at that 7th house. This is definitely a 7th house kind of card. There's, you've been out of balance, and maybe you've been working too hard. It's the creativity thing. Maybe you've been pushing yourself creatively that, oh yeah, I'm going to do this or something like that. There's some extreme that you've been encountering and it's like divine is sort of saying, nope, turn that off. Nope, you know, put it on the back burner, concentrate on your self-love, recommit to yourself. There's some commitment you need to make. Now this is quite interesting, this seven of cups upright. That is... I think if you do this, there's going to be a lot of opportunities come in for you. A lot more options are going to open up, but there's some healing needed first. And this is Archangel Raphael. He's all about healing. His color is green. He's, you know, this is the one, like if you need physical healing, emotional healing, mental healing, just ask him to be with you. Just ask him to sing you to sleep tonight. How about that? Just before you fall asleep, just like, Archangel Raphael, would you sing me to sleep? tonight and you know and I've heard that like yeah you can ask the angels to sing you to sleep um I, I learned that from Diana Cooper she talks about that she says you know ask the angels to sing you to sleep but she said you can have a whole bunch of them around your bed just like yeah singing you to sleep I just think that's such a sweet thought but there's some kind of healing needed some sweetness some kindness and a recommitment and a bit of tough love Okay, there is, there is a bit of tough love needed. There is some kind of, maybe you need to be more committed to discipline. I think it's that. That's where the tough love is coming from. And there's some commitment to discipline or recommitment to discipline or recommitment to yourself that's going to bring in all this healing and this love and it's going to give you a lot more options, things to choose from in your future. You're not going to be so extreme. You're going to become balanced. Let's take a look and see what the last two are. I'm so excited. 
cool, that one's coming first. I have no idea, even though I wrote these like, <laughs> I don't know how many hours ago, a few hours ago, I sat down and just did this. Okay, I think I was eating lunch and I was like, oh, let's just do this. And then I did a reading and now I'm here. Okay, so, ooh, yes, this is all about love. How amazing, sorry, this is just so exciting. Love is an attitude that is constant. Wow, this is so perfect, this one. Love doesn't vary. We love our family as, what, as much as we love strangers. Wow, to that degree we're capable of loving strangers. To that degree we are capable of loving our family. I remember that the word our is omitted because it was too long. I would have needed more paper. Um, yeah, so the word loving our family. Wow, this is amazing. Love is an attitude that is constant. Yes, you're, you're, I think you're kind of recommitting to love. Love doesn't vary. We love our family as much as we love strangers. To the degree we're capable of loving strangers, to that degree we are capable of loving our family. Yes, and loving ourselves. I think you're being asked to recommit to yourself, to what love is. And yeah, to what lengths can we go for us to help a stranger, you know? And there are people who care enormously. There's that film that got released, it's just popped into my mind and it's got Borat. I haven't watched it. I'm not on that Amazon thing. Like, I don't know. And I don't think I would like this film anyway. But these two strangers take in Borat. And they seem like real guys. And yeah, I mean, they seem pretty loving. Anyway, I don't know. <coughs> Apologies about the coughing. All right, let's see what the last one is. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, if one is isolating just to get away from the world, that's escape. If one is isolating to dive into oneself, that is not escape. This is so perfect for this group. This is, yes, this is so good. This is what you need. You need to dive into yourself. You're not escaping you're gonna be doing some healing. And that's why there's a bit of tough love needed or some discipline needed. Just a little bit, nothing crazy, you know? But it's like a recommitment to love, a recommitment to yourself, a recommitment to trusting yourself. That when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're like, I can trust you, you know? You don't let me down. You know, when you say you're gonna do this thing, you do it. Like, we need to have a good relationship with ourselves as well. I learned that from Caroline Mace. If one is isolating just to get away from the world, that's escape, yep. If one is isolating to dive into oneself, that is not escape, yeah. That's being real with the self. So what I'm seeing ahead for you is just a bit of a pause with work or you know, maybe you're, you're always thinking up ideas or you're always being creative or what's next or all that. Just turn that off for a little while. Give yourself some genuine healing time, some genuine self-love type time in a real way, okay? In a, in a way that is not escapist. It's not, you know, what's that? It's, uh, it's not like, <laughs> I'm seeing bubble bath. <laughs> Like so, it's like it's not that it's not you know people always think that self-love is having a bubble bath I'll tell you what sometimes that's escapist okay sometimes self-love is the tough love it is the okay I've really got to clean that cupboard I don't want to do it it's going to tire me out but I have to do it or whatever that tough thing is like that thing that requires a bit of discipline that thing that requires a bit of you know, there's something like that is needed. And once you do that, all these options are going to open up. You're going to have some, a new series of options open up for you. It's pretty exciting, Group 3. I'm really excited for you. Uh, yeah, and, and I think there is... God, it's so amazing that this 
this came to like oh, yeah well it's all being done um <laughs> it's not me um extremes this is this just needs to resolve you just need to there's something about yeah you being extreme i think that's connected in with work or you pushing yourself i think maybe you've been pushing yourself but group number three i hope that's been a good reading for you please let me know in the comments Below how you got on with that I always love to read your comments apologies if I don't get back to you straight away sometimes I'm just super busy like today super busy I'm recording at night and all that so yeah but thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time